Getting to ultimate champion is easier than ever. And today I'm going to show you guys a deck that requires no skill, no champions, and can get you to ultimate champion very easily. We are of course going to be playing this deck and getting ultimate champion ourselves. And I really hope you guys enjoy. If you do leave a like, leaving a like really helps out the channel and it lets me know you guys enjoy the content. Also, if you could subscribe, that'd be amazing. It really supports me and let's hop right into it. The deck we are using is this deck here. Like I said, it requires absolutely no skill. The biggest decision you have to make is whether you mirror your Electro Giant or whether you mirror your Phoenix. Other than that, the deck pretty much plays itself. And something I will mention is the Phoenix got nerfed today. The egg actually got nerfed, so now it can get taken out by a Log or a Barbarian Bow. That really does not matter with this deck though. And let's hop right into a game and I'll show you how it works. Straight into a game here. And the first thing we want to do in single elixir time is look for our elixir collector and our mirror those are the two very important cards so we are going to cycle a heal spirit going to play goblins at the bridge he goes with a knight that's fine and then he goes ice wizard so we are also going to play a phoenix we see an ice wizard we see a knight i'm guessing he's either ice bow or graveyard those are kind of my two predictions right now we are going to mirror the phoenix and he wasted the poison that is so bad for him so we are going to play an elixir collector here he still has to deal with my two phoenixes on top of that, I'm going to play a heal spirit. Just heal those up. He plays his very own phoenix that is going to get eaten by my phoenixes. And one phoenix protects the other phoenix egg, so allowing it to respawn and then vice versa. And that's why the nerf really does not matter. Anyway, we have a whole elixir collector up, so we will electro giant here. He goes graveyard. Ooh, I'm scared. Going to just play goblins here. He does freeze. That's fine. I'm just going to take his tower. That freeze was super aggressive. Not even going to worry about defense. We are just going to attack and it's already game over. Like I said, this deck plays itself. It's super easy, super cheesy. And there we go. We do take one tower. We are going to play another Elixir Collector. This guy is not giving up. And we will play an Electro Giant here on defense. I made sure the Phoenix did not cross the bridge here. So the tower will focus these skeletons. Super good for me going to just tornado this so they don't take my tower easy. And we will play our very own Phoenix. Going to play another elixir collector just because i can he poisons but he activates my king tower on top of that we can mirror our pump keeping our elixir lead going to play goblins here going to play a electro giant as well on defense obviously king tower is now helping out it's going to tornado everything and it's too easy it's too easy this deck should not exist it's broken it's dumb requires no skill and if you are looking for a deck to get you to ultimate champion this is it good game he says good game back he's a nice guy and i'll join you guys when we are about to hit ultimate champion we are now just two games away from ultimate champion and like i said this has been very easy this deck reminds me a lot of lava clone where it's very matchup dependent sometimes you win because you have a good matchup sometimes you lose because you have a bad matchup but what i really love about this deck is it has no champions very free to play friendly anyway into a game here and first play we are going to play it slow we're looking for the mirror the mirror is always the key card and honestly i'm going to cycle goblins here he plays a dark prince okay so we will phoenix phoenix takes out the dark prince before it charges onto my tower and then he tombstones so i'm going to electro giant at the back here he just wasted his defensive building so playing an electro giant right now is very annoying for him he goes monk that's fine and then he goes baby dragon so i'm guessing he's graveyard maybe we are going to mirror the electro giant he goes Phoenix, that's fine. He's very focused on the left side right now, so the right Electro Giant should do some damage. And honestly, this happens every single game. I'm not doing anything special. I'm not doing anything too crazy. I'm just mirroring Electro Giants and winning. We take a huge damage lead. He hasn't even touched our towers yet. And once again, he wasted the defensive building. So again, I'm just going to Electro Giant at the bridge. But again, he plays a Phoenix. He plays a Baby Dragon. That's all getting hit by my Electro Giant. And just like that, we take a tower. It's insane. We are going to mirror the Electro Giant. Going to play a Barry back here, making sure none of that stuff crosses the river so we can play Goblins here for defense. And then our tower will focus the Skeletons instead of his troops. Super annoying play for him. He does freeze. We will Tornado this back. Protecting my egg and also making sure sure that monk doesn't do too much damage once again he wasted the defensive building so we are going to punish that with an electro giant he tornadoes 
that's fine. We are going to spam an Electro Giant here. And what can I say? I'm just a better player, clearly. Nice Tombstone. There's nothing he could have done. Like I said, it's easier than ever right now to hit Ultimate Champion. We are now just one win away from Ultimate Champion. Let's see if we can do it. Into a game against King Colin. We are going to cycle. We are looking for the Elixir Collector and we are looking for our mirror. Okay, this guy goes Phoenix at the back. So we are going to Goblin's opposite lane. He ignores them interesting and then we play our very own phoenix for his phoenix we are going to mirror the phoenix of course and he also mini peckers so we will play a barry and then heal spirit really bad freeze honestly that freeze did nothing and like i said the most important thing about this deck is whether you mirror your phoenix or whether you mirror your electro giant last game we were mirroring the electro giant this game we are going to be mirroring the phoenix really bad you do not want to arrows a pump we are going to electro giant here he mega nice i am going to phoenix we are going to mirror the phoenix once again going to also heal spirit here just to help out and that mini pegger is going to destroy my electro giant but that's fine we are going to play goblins and he has a wizard wasn't expecting a wizard but we will play an electro giant at the bridge he's probably going to mega knight this when he has enough elixir electro giant makes it to the tower and he minion holds on top of an electro giant that was not the play we take his entire tower wow this guy did not give up a true fighter to the end but with this very cheesy deck we do become ultimate champions so i used this deck the entire time and i got a 76 percent win rate like i said this deck is like lava clone you cannot win every single matchup but yo here's the deck once again i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like of course subscribe if you have not already and as always make sure you guys take care brush your hair and peace out Woo!